but essentially at a base level, this is the primary male, all but significantly impactful in females as well, hormone that is present at about 10x the concentrations in males and kind of differentiates them in terms of uh, sexual identity and male characteristics. I, I do. We are going to focus a lot on the role of testosterone in, in, in males and men, but I do kind of just briefly before we will eventually talk about females and women, but what what is the major role of testosterone in women? I mean, women obviously don't make as much as men, mm -hmm. but they do make testosterone and it does play a, a functional role. Yeah, yeah. And like, again, it's a non-exhaustive list that I just presented, like the list extends beyond into erythropoiesis, the production of red blood cells, intratesticular testosterone production, absolutely critical for fertility as well. Um, and women, all but not directly analogous intragonadally, but elsewhere in the body, the activity of testosterone is still necessary for a lot of the same things, cognitive health, um, some level of cardiovascular support, bone integrity, as uh, anabolic activity and muscle tissue, all of the same stuff is still the case in women just to a much lower magnitude. So, but similar, as you would expect, there's less of a concentration required to sustain a female musculature than a male. So the concentration differential is about 10x, but in women, the main function of testosterone still overlaps with males, but intragonadally it is more to facilitate as a substrate of estrogen production. So getting that sufficient amount of aromatization into uh, uh, estradiol, but also the conversion into estrone, which then turns into estradiol as well to facilitate all of the uh, female fertility facilitated processes. So given the role of testosterone in all these important physiological processes that you just described, everything from muscle health, bone health, neurological health, red cell production, um, et cetera. What about the trade-offs of testosterone? 